Hi, third graders, and welcome back. This is day two of reading the text, Pushing Up the Sky. My name is Miss Nave, and let's get started. In this lesson, we're going to hear the play again, Possum's Tale, discuss character, setting, and theme in the play, and make inferences about the characters in the play. For this lesson, you will need the packet from this week if you have it, your Making Meaning Student Response Book, and your Turn and Talk Partner. Remember, as always, when you have your Turn and Talk Partner, you can choose the language that is most comfortable for you at home to share your thinking. So in the past, we have used this prompt, the reason I think this is. How has using this prompt helped you explain your thinking? Take a second to think about it. I've had students say to me in the past that using a prompt like this helps to better explain the reasons for their thinking, the evidence, and really share with their partners what they believe or what they think and why to help your partner better understand your thinking. So today, as we are working together and you're turning to your partner, I'd like you to try out this prompt. The reason I think this is so that your partner, whoever that may be, can understand why you think what you do. Okay? So today, we're going to be talking about some story elements. Those are the parts that are usually in fiction text. That's characters setting theme is something that we've been working on recently. These are the three that we're going to be talking about today. Now remember that when we talk about characters, you've made inferences in the past and talked about how characters change over time. When you think about setting, it's the place and the time and how that affects what happens in the story. And when we talk about theme, we're talking about the lesson of the story. So as we read Possum's Tale today, we're going to be thinking of these three things, characters, setting, theme. Okay. Now please turn to page 73 in your student response journals. We'll start with scene one. Are you ready? Am I ready? And we're going to stop to talk about the story elements we just talked about. Can you name them? Characters, setting, theme. Scene one, the forest. A group of animals stand together. Long ago, Possum had the most beautiful tail in all of all the animals. Everyone knew that was true. And if anyone didn't know, then Possum would tell them so. Tomorrow we will have a big meeting. Rabbit, you be the messenger. Go tell all the animals. We will meet in the big oak tree when Grandmother Sun rises up into the sky. What will we be meeting about? We will decide that tomorrow. Oh no, here comes Possum. He is going to brag about his tail again, I can tell. Possum enters and walks over to the other animals, holding his long tail in front of him. See yo, hello. This day is beautiful and so is my tail. Look at my beautiful tail. See you, Possum. 
Did you say there would be a meeting tomorrow? Yes. Then should I speak at the meeting? Why? Turtle, don't ask him. He'll just talk about his. Because of my beautiful tail. It is the most beautiful of all. It is not short like Bear's tail. It is long and silky. It is not stiff like Raccoon's tail. It is soft and lovely. It is not stubby like Rabbit's tail. It is fluffy and big. It is not ugly like Turtle's tail. It is pretty and nice. Possum can continue to improvise while Bear and Rabbit speak, saying, isn't it beautiful? As Possum goes on talking, the other animals yawn and roll their eyes. One by one, they fall to the ground and pretend to sleep. During this activity, Rabbit taps Bear on the shoulder, and Rabbit and Bear step toward the audience. Possum does not notice, but keeps talking. I have an idea about Possum. We should stuff moss in our ears so we cannot hear him. No, I have a better idea than that. Let me whisper it to you. Rabbit whispers in Bear's ear. Bear smiles and nods. That is a good idea. Bear and Rabbit turn back toward Possum, who is still talking. The other animals are pretending to sleep, but Possum doesn't notice. Possum, you do have a beautiful tail. Yes, that is true. Shall I tell you about it? No, I mean, not now. We have decided that you should be the first speaker at the big meeting tomorrow. Of course, that is true. One, the one with the most beautiful tail should always speak first. Possum, awesome. your tail should look its best for the meeting. Of course, that is true. My tail should look its best. I will take you to Cricket. He will put some special medicine on your tail and the tail will be ready for the meeting. Of course, that is true. Let us go to Cricket. Possum and Rabbit go off stage together. The other animals open their eyes and sit up. Oh no, if Possum's tail is made more beautiful, he'll never stop talking. Otter is right. We'll have to move away to escape his bragging. Don't worry. Rabbit has a plan. Okay. We're going to take a moment to think to ourselves about the character. How do the other animals feel about Rabbit? And how do you know? If you need to look back at the text, you can do that. And then go ahead and share with your partner using the reason I think this is. Did you get a chance to share? S someone might say that the other animals trust Rabbit. The reason I think this is because Bear says, don't worry, Rabbit has a plan. And then that's a, it seems like they're fine with Rabbit having a plan. What did you think? Okay, we're going to keep reading, this time scene two. Another part of the forest. Remember to follow along in your text. Cricket crouches on the ground. Cricket! 
I want you to put some of your special medicine on Possum's tail. Yes, that is true. I want my tail to look even more beautiful. Rabbit, do you mean my special medicine? Yes, I mean your special medicine. Hurry up, I want you to fix my tail. I will fix it. Cricket pretends to apply medicine to Possum's tail from either a bowl or bottle. This medicine will make your tail look as it has never looked before. Will everyone notice it? Oh yes, everyone will notice it. Cricket, Cricket wraps a bandage around Possum's tail. Now you must keep this old snake skin wrapped around your tail all night. Do not take it off until you are at the meeting. Why do you think Possum lets Cricket put the medicine on his tail? Go ahead and share with your partner using the sentence stem the reason I think this is. Mm. I think that the possum lets Cricket put medicine on his tail because he wants his tail to be more beautiful and he thinks that Cricket is putting on medicine that will make his tail more beautiful because the reason I think this is Possum says, hurry up, I want you to fix my tail. Okay, scene three, continuing to think about the characters. Scene three, the forest near the big oak tree. All the animals are gathered in a semicircle. Possum's tail is still wrapped in the snakeskin. Possum will open our meeting. Pay attention, everyone. See you, everyone. I have been asked to speak today because of my tail. It is the most beautiful of all. Here, let me show you how beautiful it is. Possum unwraps his tail. It now looks like a big rat's tail, but Possum does not notice. Look at Possum's tail. Still showing off the tail without looking at it? Yes, look at my tail. Look at how beautiful it is. It has no hair at all. It is really ugly. It is funny looking. The animals begin to laugh. Possum looks at his tail and sees that it has no hair. My tail, Cricket, has ruined it. Possum sits down on the ground, closes his eyes, and rolls onto his back with his feet up in the air. He stays there until all the other animals have gone. Then he gets up and runs away. So it is that Possum now has the ugliest tail of all the animals. Ever since that time, whenever Possum meets another animal, he closes his eyes, rolls over on his back, and pretends to be dead until the other animal goes away. And Possum no longer brags about his tail. How do you think Possum feels when he discovers what had happened to his tail? What in the play makes you think so? Take a moment to think to yourself. And when you're ready, go ahead and share with your partner.
handsome might be feeling upset because at first, I'm sorry, the reason I think this is because at first he keeps talking about how beautiful his tail is and he doesn't notice his tail. Then when he sees it, he needs to go on his back on the ground and he doesn't say anything, which tells me that he might be feeling upset. Okay. Now that we've reread the book and talked a little bit about the characters, we're going to come back to the three elements of fiction that we talked about before of stories. Characters, setting, and theme. Okay? So think to yourself, who are the main characters in this play? Can you list them? What kind of a character do you think Possum is? And why do you think so? I might say that he's a little self-centered. That means he thinks about himself mostly. And I think that because he can only talk about his tail. What do you think? Okay, now think about what kind of character Rabbit is and what makes you think so. Students might say that Rabbit is clever because he can trick Possum. You might say that Rabbit is a little mean because he made the possum's tail change, tricked possum into changing his tail. Okay, now how about the setting? What do we know about the setting of this play? Setting is in a forest, and with each scene, they move to a different part of the forest. I also want to note that this story happens over two days. Right, setting time and place. It's not just a one day story because he needs to sleep with the wrap around his tail, the medicine around his tail, and then wake up in the morning to go. I'm just checking, remember, to look back at the text to make sure. Yes, wrapped around your tail all night. Okay. Now, what do you think is a theme or lesson in this play? And what makes you think so? Go ahead and think about it. What is what is a theme or lesson in the play. I've had students say that the lesson might be you shouldn't brag. And the reason they think this is because Possum's tail gets ruined because he brags too much about it. 
and it seems like the other characters don't like him so much. I want to remind you that if you can support your claim your, when you're saying, I think the theme is this, just because you didn't say what I just said doesn't mean that it's not right. If you can support your claim with evidence, with your reasoning, then that's enough. Okay, so let's think about this now. How did it go using the prompt, the reason I think this is? I think it helps me to remember that I need to explain my reasoning also. So I don't want to just say the theme is or the lesson is you shouldn't brag. Maybe not everyone will agree with me and they want to hear more. I'm going to support that with evidence. Your IDR task today is to read your own books and think about the characters, setting, and themes of your story and really get into that. Why do you think that? Thank you for reading with me today, third graders. I'll see you next time.